three top tips that we have if this is your first time buying into property. If you are going to be using credit, make sure that you know what you're buying is 100% or 99.99999% the right property to actually be buying. As a property investor, remember, I would never go out of debt. I mean, if I'm just about to finish my debt, I'm going to ask for a loan on that particular property to actually scale up my particular portfolio. If you Hey there. Hello everybody, you are tuned into Now Wealth. My name is Neil. My name is Lebu. Hope you actually liked the video that we actually posted yesterday based on entrepreneurship. Yeah man, it's a Thursday and today we are talking about three top tips that we have if this is your first time buying into property. So now the first one that we have actually spoken about or said rules about is your credit. So now why are we actually saying credit? Is it possible rather to look at property investing rather than credit? I mean, those two go together. It's like talking about Neo without Lebu or talking about Lebu without Neo. They both go together. So now when we're looking at credit, right, something that we need to take into consideration is that most of the people that are actually buying properties, especially your 10 million rand properties, they are actually using credit to actually finance that particular thing. Well, some of them might be actually buying those properties based on them writing off their tax bill. But now most in most cases, what happens is that people would actually buy these particular properties using credit. So now how do we then look at using credit to actually fast track our property investing goals? I like the first tip because it speaks about credit in depth. And now when looking at credit, I know some people are like, I do not want to get in debt. Mm. I do not want to have the credit. So what we are opening is let's open a platform. Let's open a conversation about how can we use credit in a manner that is sustainable. So, I mean, when talking about credit, man, credit is the second best topic just before prof just before property investing. We really are into credit because the nice thing that we like about credit is credit enables us to grow our portfolio if we do not have money right now. So if you do not have the cash right now, it's not a red tape. It doesn't mean that you must not enter the, the proper investing game whatever you want what you need to do is you need to actually look at how can i position myself so that i can grow my credit score how can i position myself so that i can have access towards credit towards property investing and now looking at it from a credit perspective you know that you need time to grow your profile so when looking at credit you're looking at let's say about three months or let's say six months of growing your credit in a manner whereby you're looking at affordability, you're looking at your income, you're looking at your expenses, you're trying to balance it out so that you have a healthy net, knowing that this net will afford you that next property that you'll be applying for. Mm. The most frequent question that we're actually getting from property investors or aspiring property investors is that, I have a portfolio right now, how do I actually grow my portfolio in a more sustainable manner? So now when we bring credit into the mix, it then becomes harder for you to actually buy a particular property. I mean, if you do have cash, say for instance, 1 million to actually invest within this particular property, right? And now if you are actually going to be buying this particular property cash, obviously you are going to be making a cash flow positive for a couple of months. But now if we do not actually go deeper into in terms of is how hard is your money working for you it then becomes a problem so now say for instance now i'm taking credit to buy this particular house then it becomes more difficult because now we want to run away from a case whereby you actually need to take out money on a monthly basis to give to this particular property so now i want to actually stress this particular point if you are going to be using credit make sure that you know what you're buying is 100 percent or 99.99999% the right property to actually be buying because the last thing that you want to be doing is that I'm taking on this liability just for people to know that I'm a property investor when in actual fact I'm actually buying properties not knowing that I need to take out money on a monthly basis to give to this particular property. I mean Lebo, just to sum up everything especially under credit what you just said right now is that with credit, it really unveils how bad the situation is. Mm -hmm. So with cash, there is that possibility that I bought a property. I'm not discouraging cash buyers. But with cash, there is that probability that I'll buy the, cash, I'll buy the property cash, but not necessarily understand how hard is my money working for me. Yes. Whereas with credit, if I'm making a profit or loss, it's clear from month one. Yes, that this is a bad property. Now, what is that 
top factor that you might actually think that our viewers need to know about? I like how you started with number one being credit. It flows directly into number two, which is buying a property that is cash flow positive. Mm. Now, the thing about buying a cash, a cash flow positive, especially being it not only your first, but I would like to second, third, fourth, fifth, every property, growing your property portfolio, it needs to be cash flowing positive. Why am I saying that? Once you start gaining momentum, it gives you it gives you confidence. Mm. That's when you are motivated to buy the next property. Because mm. I know for sure that when you have a property that's not cash flow negative, let's say now you even grow your port property portfolio to about five properties, and then you find out that it's different areas, however there's a different market, but still, I'm not cash flowing positive. That will actually change your mindset because now you might start judging your decision making. You might start judging property investing as a whole that maybe this is not such a great idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe property investing is more of a 20 year plan that once I am done with that credit, then only I can see the fruits of this investment. Whereas that's not the case. There's so many things that one can do to ensure that you buy the right property that will be cash flowing positive. However, now the scale is required. We're always talking about making sure that you are surrounded by a power team. Yeah. Because now once I have the skill, once I know that, man, you know what? I'm looking at a specific return on investment. And when somebody does come and say, Lewu, I've got this property. This happens all the time. We always question return on investment of a property. So somebody will come, Lewu, you know what? There's new developments. We are offering a 20%. The first thing that I'm asking is, how did you get to that 20%? Because already to me, I have a criteria and I know that with 20%, it's a very good number when it comes to property investing. So I'm already questioning, how did they get to that 20%? Mm -hmm. And now once you start aligning your mindset towards that, every investment opportunity that comes to you, it's not that I have the money or I have the credit, which is number one. I just need to invest it. It's more of why should I put my money? Why should I put my credit in this property investment because at the end of the day if i'm not cash flowing positive that will have a huge impact towards my growth most definitely and now remember when we're going into property investing we're thinking about financial freedom right so now since we are actually thinking about financial freedom wait a minute i'll link you up with the session that we had our live session on financial freedom right so now if we are actually going to be looking at financial freedom i'm looking at buying a particular property that's going to be able to sustain my lifestyle so now if i'm actually going to be taking out money on a monthly basis and giving it to this particular property it then becomes a problem for me to reach my financial goal because now no money is actually coming in i'm actually taking out money on a monthly basis so now when we're looking at a situation whereby I'm actually getting 1,000 on a monthly basis and I can get 10 of those particular properties. I already know that I can make 10,000 for my portfolio, right? But now the problem is that if I have 10 properties that need me to take out 1,000 on a monthly basis, it then becomes a problem because now I have to now take out 10,000 on a monthly basis to give to this particular property of which I don't think that would be a deal that you want to go into, right? Yes, sir. So what if, I've got a question for you. I know this is unscripted. I've got a question for you, but I know you'll do best in terms of answering it. What if, what if, and I'm saying this, the, the very same scenario whereby we're taking 1,000 out of our pocket. What if I'm saying that I want to put in 2,000 so that instead of 20 years, I push it to 10 years. What do you think about that in terms of the, the topic at hand with regards to the cash flow, cash flow positive? I like, I like how you actually asked that particular question because now, most of our clients come through with that particular question and they say that I'd be done with my bond as soon as possible, right? But now, remember something. If you are actually going to be taking out money on a monthly basis and giving it to this particular property, we then need to see that is our return on investment going to actually increase or does it actually decrease? And the main reason why we're going to be going into this particular property, it's because of the return on investment. Remember, a property, we're actually buying it for investment purposes. So now, if I'm going to be putting in more money into this particular property and now it's giving me a lower in mm. interest rate rather than what I'm actually getting at the bank right now, it then becomes a problem for me to be actually investing in that particular property. Going back to your, your question, right, of me actually taking out 2000 on a monthly basis instead of the 1000 right, I wouldn't actually do that because now as a property investor, remember, 
I would never go out of debt. I mean, if I'm just about to finish my debt, I'm going to ask for a loan on that particular property to actually scale up my particular portfolio. If you look at proper, proper property investors, right? Professional, the pros of property investing, right? They know that debt is what actually grows their profile or portfolio as soon as possible. So for me, I wouldn't actually do that. Clearly linking point number one with number two. Cash flow, as much as cash flow is important, credit is also important. Mm -hmm. And now what I want to actually sum up, how I want to sum up what you said for point number two is that I cannot run away from the 20 years and say now I'm putting 10 years. Yes. I'm, I'm converting the 20 years into 10 years, then look at it in better. It doesn't look better when you're looking at it from the number side, even though I will close it faster. However, from the number side, it's going to be a problem now because I'm actually taking out more money. Mm. So we still have to consider that when it comes to property investing. So what we also do is that if you do have a property and you're like, Jens, I'd like to understand if my property is making financial sense, the investment side of it. Hit us up at property at, property at normwealth.co.za. We'd like to actually have that conversation with you. Share the spreadsheets that we have with you so that we look at the properties that you have so that you can also be satisfied with regards to, okay, now I'm seeing it differently and what is the way forward with, with regards to that? Now, let's go back to number three then. Number three, what would you say is your last and final tip for property investors? Well, I'll give you a bonus, right? Before we go on to number three, I would say actually get a mentor because now we can't look at number three without getting a particular mentor. Yeah. So now your mentor will be there in place to actually give you or show you the ways in terms of how to actually invest in a particular property. Yeah. So that was a bonus. If you yeah. want more information, please do send us an inquiry at property at normal.co.za. Let us be your mentor. Is and there anything that you want to put in? I wanted to say that, but it's okay, man. You took, you took those words directly out of my mouth. Most definitely. So now number three that we are actually speaking about is that getting that right property. So now we're always hearing that location, 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 or numbers, numbers, numbers. So now what is more important than the other? So now for us at Normal Health, no one is important more than the other. But now the first thing that we need to be looking at is your numbers. But now it does happen that your numbers make sense, but now the location is in a bad location. Mm -hmm. Then still it doesn't become a right deal. Mm -hmm. It's like in your body, for your body to become fully operational, mm -hmm. you need your heart to be beating, right? If we can say that my body is in perfect shape, but now the problem is that my heart is not beating well, a result will be that your whole body won't be actually working perfectly. So now these are building blocks towards getting that right particular property. So now your mentor will then be in place to actually show you which properties are ideal to actually invest in and which locations are actually the best to actually invest in. So now in that way, you are able to actually bring in that information that you got from your mentor, apply it within the practical world, important, apply within the practical world and then see your property portfolio grow sustainably. Wow. Wow, I like how you summed it up. I couldn't say it better, man. So, man, you summed it up quite well, and I'm excited about that, man. Awesome. Yeah. So, now, if you do have any questions based on property investing, or you would want us to have a session one-on-one, -on -one, right, two-on-one, -on -one, if you would actually want to have that particular session, please do send us an inquiry at property at normwealth.co.za yeah. so that we can actually see how to help you in the best possible manner. Please do subscribe so that you are aligned with every thursday every thursday we're posting quality content about the practicality of property investing if you cannot wait for thursday hit us up with an email and let's make it happen through a zoom meeting no well signing out